finally, that the Kenya Airport Authority should ensure that they have requisite capacity to finalize the project development phase within six months as provided in 43.2 of the PPP Act. This decision, Mr. Speak, Mr. Chairman, by the committee was communicated to the State Department for Transport via a letter, but a letter as reference there and dated 13th March 2024, that is an extra F. Chairman and members, the communication of the committee anticipate that in line with the law, the following steps may apply. Now, step number seven. Now is the project development phase. After approval of the PIP proposal by the committee, the private party shall proceed to the project development stage after preparation of project development activities, which include a detailed geographical scope of the project and the technical, financial, legal, social, environmental, and economic feasibility studies. B, PPP suitability assessment or value for money assessment. C, comprehensive risk matrix. D, a preliminary PPP structure. And finally, a plan for stakeholder outreach to ensure social acceptability of the project. The private party and Kenya Airport Authority may enter into a project agreement to outline the terms which the private party will undertake, the, uh, will undertake the project development activities. Section 43.7, I confirm, Chair, the project agreement has not been signed or agreed on. What I, sorry, I think I've mixed it. That was for Section 43.7. I confirm, Chair, that the project agreement has not been signed or agreed on between the government and Adani Airport Holdings Limited. And there may be, let me just add there that project development is a, a detailed feasibility study phase by the proponent. Step number eight is evaluation and submission of documents from the project uh, development. Uh, Mr. Chairman, Evaluation of the documents from project development phase is undertaken by the contracting authority and the directorate in accordance with the criteria as set out in section 42 of the PPP Act, CAP 430, and submitted to the directorate for assessment. This, is, this was done by what we would call the project implementation team. The evaluation report is then forwarded to the National Treasury by the Kenya Airports Authority through the apparent ministry for consideration and approval by the PPP committee. Mr. Chairman, the step number nine, a 